Yeah, if we're not going to merge today, so it'll be a bit easier for you. Yeah, we've got something out in the back there. Yeah. Hey guys, early morning here at Hamilton. You guys are following me around for the day. It's pretty chilly here this morning, so uh, we're about to do some pit stop practice. We're all sit in the car and uh, stop on the marks, and uh, hopefully it's a good day for us. Top it in. Watch the uh, rugby. <laughs> Hey, Mark. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> Always racing at home. Everyone uh, seems to want tickets and to come hang out. So you seem to have about 50 more friends. But it's it's pretty cool. All the support here is really good. And if you look, the ones with the Kiwis with SVG on them. They're all pulling the fingers. Yeah, you got to look pretty close. It's only real faint. You can see a little hand there. This one, it's on my, it's off my helmet, and the guy in the back of my helmet's doing it. It's quite funny. Do you think we still want to run a hard and soft, soft? Well, how how comfortable are you with knowing where you are on the chicane for a curb stop? Uh, I think we're getting pretty good at that there, but I was a bit down on Lee through there, but I got better at the end, but. Oh yeah, 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 how you doing? Do you want to come have a look? We're going to get a picture taken with the car. Okay. picture with you. Nice to meet you. Good. Hey, man. Sorry, we're just roughing up. How you doing, mate? We're just uh, going across the other side for a signing session with all the other V8 guys, so cruise over there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to borrow a pair of Sunny's Craig? Oh, all right. I'm good. Thank, Thank you. Because when you smile with the sunlight there, you're going to blind a few people on the front row. Hey, mate. Um, you alright? Yeah, yeah. Kind of Waxing a bit. Right. All good. Under control? Yep. No pressure, remember yeah. that. Here's Shane Van Gisbergen, two green boxes so far for the winner here from Sunday last year. Yesterday didn't run on the soft tyre, some ob some obviously did. And uh, on the hard tyre, oh, oh, he looked close. to me like he nearly got the inside wall there at the apex of turn eight. So Van Gisbergen, great job, 22-1-8 goes to the top. Yeah, probably just need a little bit more power. Turn? Yeah, not much. It seems pretty good, eh? Shane, just for your information, uh, Turn 5 is our weakest sector. Turn 5 is our weakest sector and we're pretty strong everywhere else. Shane Van Gisbergen just whacking the right rear corner of the car heavily into the wall there as it slid down the camber of the road. <laughs> Think you got a good race car? Yeah. Better over the bump, so more comfortable. Now, this man's an excitement machine. We know this much. Two race victories. Got his first here last year on the Sunday. How's the way he warms this thing up? Now, the significant difference here with Van Gisberg and a very different approach with tyres, folks. So, so far, we've seen all three of the previous runners use a used front tyre. This car has got brand new tyres all round, so no temperature in them. This will set him up nicely in the mid-sector. Turn five, he breaks nicely into there. Remember, Steve Owen locked a brake. He rides the crown on the exit kerb nicely, but not over the left side of it so that it slides. Now the brakes into six. This will be a good time for Shane Van Gisbergen. And he goes to the top of 122.4. He may gain in the final sector. Good work, mate. Nice, tidy lap. Well done. Good no. job, buddy. Thank you. Still on pole. The P5 now. <laughs> He loves this place. He's had so much success here. Is this going to put him to the top? It does. And GT claims it for Holden. Good job, Jody. Good job.
Good job, man. We could have pole there, eh? Turn four. Yeah. Actually, I'll take that as being a pole. That's how close it is. Okay, mate. Turn four, eh? That's all it cost you. Yeah. Better to be a little bit safe than yeah. get a curb strike. And Yep, oh, we just had a quick bite to eat, now we're off to see the SP Tools guys, they got a um, corporate box above ours, so we'll go and say hello. Oh, you guys got yeah. me. Crush it. Oh, really? A couple minutes or? Yeah. Got a, yeah. Got a yeah. Very proud of Shane. I'm his biggest fan, just saying. I'm <laughs> <laughs> your second big fan. <laughs> and his second. Yeah, we've been tapped out all day, so grabbing a bite to eat. Mum's buddy hooked me up with a banana, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, grab a bite to eat, and then we've got a thing for Jason Richards on the front straight, so that'd be cool for him, and uh, remember him for this race. We would have loved to have him here, so yeah, we'll be racing for him this afternoon. We've done as much as we can do now. Yeah, like, like you say. The rest is up We've to him and the other 27 <laughs> maniacs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mate, stay calm. Long way to go. So that's the front row, Garth Tander starting on pole position, Shane Van Gisbergen on the front row of the grid. It's going to be a wild ride down to turn one. And hey, listen, uh, how do you counsel Shane Van Gisbergen, especially going down to turn one? His, uh, his adrenaline would be pumping. Yeah, you can count on that. Um, it is all the time. But uh, being on the front row here with a snip, you know, um, he's going to be ready to go. But to be honest, you're not going to be able to, you know, have a decent suck of oxygen until after um, turn four. cars away cleanly they'll all be against their handbrakes staggered start to Garth Tander from pole position Shane Van Gisbergen on the left of our screen pushes and pushes he's going to push all the way to turn one the Kiwi has to lock it up there's contact contact at the first turn that was very messy and have a look at Davison up the inside and David Reynolds gets the jump so Reynolds takes the lead to turn two there's a huge amount of push and shove Oh, David can't pull it up at turn two. He's going to lose the spot here. Tander's sliding as well. And up and surfing over the curb with Stephen Johnson. Tander in the lead. Davison pops to second. Reynolds back to third. The gears has dropped back four or five spots. He's getting his ears boxed okay, at the moment. Thank you. You got no steering? Which bay? Are you going to stay out, mate? Are you going to stay out? Yes, for now. Okay, okay mate, mate, no, no problem. problem. Just keep me updated. Make, Make sure, sure the steering wheel's straight, straight, straight when you get a chance. No, it's stuff. Here it is from the other angle. Now, look at that. No wonder the steering's bent on Shane's car. Hope he gets a drive through for that. It drops massively to the right when I brake, to the right, and then it doesn't turn left. I don't know whether to push or slow down. It's like it hasn't changed, but if I push and the thing breaks, we're f***ing our car. Mate, let's just do a few laps and we'll see, let's just see if it remains constant and then we might be able to make a better decision. So let's do two more laps at a constant speed, just try and stay in front of uh, Caruso there and uh, let's make an evaluation of the car. Yeah, we're going to give it a bit more of a go now, but it's not nice. Okay mate, you've got really good speed, you're the same speed as the leaders, so let's push on and let me know of any updates with the car. Feel junk. Sorry, I know that doesn't help, but that's what it feels like. I'm calling in this time past. Mainly, mainly understeer. Box this lap.
Now they'll do tyres obviously and fuel, but they have a look under this car, see they put the incompressible stands in there. Now they're checking to see what the story is with that steering arm. They need to make sure it's safe. So no rectification. That was close. He missed the back of that guy by a fraction. Okay, mate, you're on stop. Hands down the roll. Here it goes. Hey, mate, just make adjustments for the chicane. You've got excellent speed. Just adjust yeah. for the chicane. We are on three strikes. No way. Watch under brakes because Van Gisbergen's car, it's got a, a fluttering front splitter. Just watch it here, there, on the front left-hand corner. The mounting's obviously broken. Yeah, I'm not surprised the splitter's broke, broken. Um, the way he rode up over that other car, obviously on the way through, the splitter would have got the damage then, I would suggest. Look, at, at the moment, we've got excellent speed. Yeah. Um, we could, yeah, we can easily end up down here in the top 10. That's our goal, given the start. So if we, put, if we try and do extra work, we're just going to not achieve that. Okay, okay mate, that was a curve strike last lap. We are on four. We are on four. No, no. That's uh, bad sportsmanship flag and car number nine being displayed on the board there for Shane Van Gisbergen. So that's because of the number of curb hops. Get set, soft one ready, soft one. We'll change the bumper, we'll put soft one on and we'll fill it. What are you going to do, get the rear guys to change the wheels, the front guys to do the yeah, bar? Yeah, they're doing the bumper. Yep. It's pretty bad, eh? It's got a big, big crack. It's from hitting the tyres. Yeah. Mate, we have to box this lap. We have to box this lap for damage. What? Box this lap. Box this lap. We have to fix damage. We have been black flagged. Clear, clear. Four cold tyres, four cold tyres. And six curb strikes. Okay, okay, we are on six curb strikes. Six curb strikes. Black flag, mate, for using the curbs too much. We're on six strikes now, so it's a black flag drive through. Here comes Van Gisbergen now. So this is the penalty drive-through. Well, uh, as they say in the classics, that's racing. We uh, we gave uh, we had every opportunity to do well today, but uh, unfortunately, first turn incident, first lap, and uh, we've suffered. Uh, Shane's got quite a bit of difficulty in turning the car. Uh, it's quite difficult to get through the turn four chicane. So uh, we damaged our front bar and we had to change that and then we got a drive through for uh, over strikes on the kerb. So we'll just press on and uh, see what we can salvage out of the day and regroup tomorrow. Safety car boards and flag, safety car boards and flag, car stop, run off at turn one, safety car standby. Safety car Shane, safety car. And box this lap, box this lap. Just fuel? Just fuel. Just fuel? Sorry? Just fuel? Just do fuel. Come on, off you go, mate. 
Okay, mate, just an update. Uh, we have got 20 laps to go. 20 laps to go. Uh, we're currently P24. Um, we just need to do the best job we can. You've been doing a good job out there. We've got three curb strikes. Let's try and get through till the end of the race there. Just adjust your speed at the chicane. Shane Van Gisbergen, 23rd at the moment. Tough run for him so far. Started on the front row, got tangled up in all the aggravation at the first corner. And then ultimately, and we spoke to Ross Stone about this, had a problem with the splitter on the front of the car and had to come in and deal with that. And that all happened simultaneously with too many curb hops right here at four. And then once that happened, he's ended up way off the money here. He's a lap behind the race leaders. What a shame for the bloke who won the race here last year. Yeah, and let's uh, say thanks to Ross Stone, who's given us an access all areas pass today. Quick summary today, Ross. Yeah, tough day, you know, sometimes it's like that. Uh, so we'll see how good we are, all of us as a group, as a team, and come back tomorrow and uh, see what we got. Okay, mate, last lap, last lap. Now he's just going to hold on to this 2.3 second lead from his good mate. Oh, Nico. Ford Performance Racing are really hot right now. Will Davison wins here in Hamilton. Okay, mate, character building day today. Uh, tough out there, but we got to the end and we'll regroup for tomorrow. Nothing, nothing to say. It's days to today where you win the championship, you know, by trying to regroup. And I, I really think we could have finished, you know, obviously the damage is quite bad. Yeah. And, and he really struggled through the chicane. Um, and that's probably what's broken the front bar. Or, you know, it started from the collision at turn three. But I think we had the speed to fin still finish up near the top ten, or in fact inside the top ten. And that was our goal after it happened. He'll be, look, he'll be disappointed. We'll give him his space. Yeah, he'll be, yeah, he'll be disappointed. But the thing is, is um, we've got nothing to lose now. And, and he's better when he's like that. He'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, these are the days where we just, when something like that happens, we just got to try and salvage what we can yeah. and, and come out with it with the best finish we can. Because at the end of the year, 20 points might be the difference. Yeah. Uh, good job. Yes. It was a tough, tough day today, eh? Um, all the potential was there, but we never, never got it with one, any of the cars. So. Um, this will be a test of how good we are, so let's come back to our work tonight and come back tomorrow. Wow, what a day for Shane Van Gisbergen. Starts on the front row of the grid, finishes 23rd. The ups and downs of motor racing are quite extraordinary. As you heard Dave Stewart say a couple of times today, it was a character builder, and you certainly have them in V8 supercar competition. I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to Shane, to Ross Stone, everybody at SP Tools Racing, also to Dave Stewart for their fantastic cooperation through the course of the day.